Hi, uh, this video is about uh, how fiber optics work. Okay, so what is it? Uh, fiber optics, they are long thin strand of very pure glass about the diameter of a human hair. Uh, they are arranged in a bundles called optical cables and used to transmit light signal over long distance. Okay. Uh, this, are, they are, this is how they look like. So this is the a fiber optics cable multi mode uh, one side is the sc connector s is the same c for charlie and one is the other side is the lc connector here okay uh, this is the the core and cladding here uh, this is the lc connector here same one and um, this is the small patch cable which both hands are sc so this just shows the different varieties of the cable and the color of them uh, this one, orange one, is also multi mode. The single mode cables they usually come in the the yellow color. So I have more uh, information on the single mode and multi mode cables. Kay. So this is um, how it is used. So this is this uh, cable here. Uh, this piece here is called the transmitter. So it takes the electrical signal here and convert to the light. Okay, uh, and this is the uh, the like um, Nexus 5000 switch here. It has about 10 G, 10 gigabit Ethernet ports here. So this transmitter it goes in this uh, one of the the s uh, slot here. Okay, so this is just to show the example in the networking industry. Uh, this is another catalyst switch here, uh, which is using the SC connector, and this is the transmitter, also called the JBIC. Uh, this is a transmitter. Uh, opt uh, so a transmitter, they produce and encode the light signal. Optical fiber, which is shown here, which conduct the light signal over a distance. Sometimes, um, when there is a very long cable, there is a loss happen in the cable, and then you need to boost that signal. And in that case, the optical regenerator I use. And the other end, uh, one end is the transmitter, and when it's connect the other end, there is a receiver. Okay, so that's the optical receiver. They receive and decode the light signal. Okay, so let me run small video clip here. So I have one uh, one multi mode cable here. Okay, so now uh, this is a lamp here, a regular night lamp. And as you can see, as soon as I take the one end of the uh, SC connector here, it it goes traverse to this cable and it's showing me here okay so you can see as soon as I take the one end you can see the lights on and off here okay so that's to show you um, just how this cable work here okay. um, application so it used in many places like for the data storage they use for the data transmission as I showed earlier, uh, there was a few uh, Cisco switches. They were using this kind of uh, fiber optics cable to con for the connection. Telecommunication uh, fiber is laid and used for transmit and receive purpose. Uh, networking uh, used to connect uh, users and servers with a variety of network setting and help to increase the speed and accuracy of the data transmission. Uh, currently, uh, when the Ethernet started, they start with 100 megabit megabits per second then it go to 1 GB then it went to 10 GB and currently it can go up to 40 GB of the data transmission industrial and commercial use for imaging hard to reach areas some of sometimes the plumbers uh, they can use this fiber optics cable to inspect the drainage okay and um, it's, uh, also is a and also when there is a EMI uh, is the issue Elec electromagnetic interference at that time you can use this kind of cable as well because these are optical um, as, a, as a sensor also they use as a sensor device to make temperature pressure and the measurement and the wiring in automobile and industrial settings they use in the broadcast cable companies they use the fiber optic cable for CATV, HDTV, internet, video on demand and uh, many other applications uh, with this fiber optic cable you can send very high speed of the data uh, on the medical, they use on uh, the guides, imaging tools, and also laser for the surgeries. They can also use in the endoscopy 
so in the endoscopy uh, doctor they make very small hole for the operation they let this uh, fiber optics cable go inside the body of the human and then they can perform the operation just by making small hole so that is a very minimum invasive surgery and then a very fast recovery uh, defense and government they use the hydrophones for the seismic and the sonar uses also as a wiring in aircraft submarines and other vehicles also for the field networking so these are just some example and it can be used at many many places uh, fiber optics cable types as i mentioned earlier when i saw the picture uh, i show the show the picture of multi mode uh, they are um, small cores about 3.5 times uh, 10 to 4 inches or like 9 micron in diameter and transmit infrared uh, laser light wavelength around like uh, 1300 to 1550 nanometer and uh, there is a one diagram which which talk about this core and cladding and all those information but the key point here is the single mode they the cores are very small and the multi mode the cores are bigger Okay, so that's the main key point here. Okay, these are some of the fiber optics different connector type. For example, this is ST, SC, uh, then this is SC duplex, and so on. So you can read uh, this MTRJ here. Uh, the LC connector, the one I show the real cable, those that was this LC duplex here. Okay, so there are many, many. Uh, I mean, this many kind of different connector available for this fiber optics cable so how it works so this is the the core in this small piece of air the light will tra travel only in this one this small one this cladding it is outer optical material uh, and that help to reflect the light inside so because of and there is a description how that thing works that is coming in the next slide but um, this core and cladding this cladding help to keep the light inside only in this core okay the buffer it contains the plastic coating so it uh, the cable don't get damaged when i saw the earlier the orange color that was the the buffer coating okay so it helped from damage and moisture jackets so they jackets they used to one this is a one cable and like you have like thousand of them they can um, like this kind of cable you can um, bundle them in under the jacket okay so that's what it called says here hundred or thousand of these optical fibers are arranged in a bundle in the optical cables they are protected by the cables outer covering called jacket and this is the final slide and it shows how this uh, uh, why light uh, don't go away and it travels only in the core okay so let's see the first one is the definition here reflect refractive index so speed of light in a free space divided by speed of light in a material so any material so for example this core it has a refractive index of 1.5 and uh, in the outer layer it has a uh, the cladding uh, reflect is in refractive index n2 is 1.45 okay so once we have the refractive index of both material then uh, there is a snell law he created this law in year 1621 based on that uh, we need to find out this critical angle here so let's say we know that this uh, equation uh, critical angle is equal to arc sine n2 divided by n1 now n2 we already know 1.45 n1 is equal to 1.50 now um, when you make the a, i mean n2 divided by n1 that give you around 0 0.9666 and so on now when you make the arc sine of it that give us the 75.14 degree okay, so once we know this 75.14 degree that is critical angle here so any ray that that pass and whose angle is more than critical angle it that light uh, that ray of light won't go out it will reflect here okay and and travels like that so here the this uh, um, this is a ray light 
light of uh, ray it is coming here then from this point it will reflect back here and then it go again any light of the ray that come between this kritic angle that will pass away through this refractive index I mean from this material and that will be the loss of the signal so when the laser I mean the transmitter is connected it it send the signal between this core and uh, within this um, and the angle of that uh, transmitting uh, signal it will be the more than uh, this critical angle okay so that's the key point here and that's how uh, this li uh, this light signal it travels and stays inside this core okay so I think that's the last slide um, hopefully you like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching okay bye